Hi, welcome to the discussion of isometric views of a simple solids. Under this, we are discussing now construction of isometric view of a hexagonal prism. Now, what is the given problem? The problem here is draw the isometric view of a hexagonal prism of base side 30 and axis 70. The prism is resting on its base on the HP with an edge of the base parallel to the VP. So this is the given problem. So as a first step, what we have to do? We have to draw the orthographic projections of the hexagonal prism. After drawing the orthographic projections, then we will move towards the isometric uh, view of the hexagonal prism. As a first step, we have to draw the orthographic projections of the hexagonal prism as as the prism is resting on its uh, base is on uh, HP and axis parallel to VP. That's why in top view it is a hexagon, front view uh, we will get uh, rectangles. First step, draw hexagon. Then I am using angular method. angle between two sides is 120 degrees After that, we have to draw the projectors towards the vertical plane for drawing the front view. Then give let him say A. B, C, D, E, F. Next, P, Q, R, S, T, U. As it is having two bases. After that, as it is resting on its uh, base on HP, that's why its front view starts with the reference line. Then its axis height is given as 70 mm. That is drawing orthographic projections of a hexagonal prism when its base is on uh, HP is completed. Now we will move towards drawing the isometric view of this hexagonal prism. This is the base of the hexagonal prism. Drawing the hexagon in isometric view directly it's not possible for that what we have to do is we have to enclose this hexagon in a rectangle say one two three four one one two one 3, 1, 4, 1. I mean two bases. 
वन टू थ्री इज दि बाटम बेस वन वन टू वन थ्री वन फोर वन इज दि टाप बेस फर्स्ट वील ड्रा वन टू थ्री फोर बाटम बेस देन वन डैश वन वन टू वन थ्री वन फोर वन टाप बेस वन टू थ्री फोर इज ए रेक्टांगल दिस रेक्टांगल इज पैरल टू दि हारजेंटल प्लेन दट मीन आल फोर सैड्स नीड टू मेक एन ऐंग आफ थर्टी डिग्री टू दि ग्रउंड लाइन सो ड्र थर्टी डिग्री इंक्लीनेशन लाइन टू द लेफ्ट एज वेल एज राइट दट इज फर्स्ट वील कंप्लीट ड्रॉइंग दि टाप यो से एक्स एक्सिस एंड जेड एक्सिस X axis and Z axis. After that, say second point on the ground. Then two one as a radius, two as a center. Draw an arc. Similarly, two as a center, two three as a radius. Draw an arc. Say one. This is three. As you know, one two parallel to one two, three four is there, and parallel to two three, one four is there. So draw a line parallel to two three, pass passing through one. Similarly, parallel to one two, passing through three. So this is four. That is drawing the rectangle in top view is completed. Now I am using the method called box method. So in the case of top view only two dimensions are there third dimension is uh, we have to add it to this top view that is we have to add the height of the axis at 1 with the given height say 7 70 mm Name this one as one one two one three one four one. Then join one one two one two one three one 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 four one. Then three one four one. So drawing box is completed. After drawing the box, then we have to start doing the construction of hexagonal base at the top first. Say two one and P as a radius. Two one P as radius. Draw an arc from three also with the same radius. Draw an arc. Similarly, two and B as a radius. Two as a center. Draw an arc. Similarly, three as a center. Draw an arc. One U as radius. One one as a center. Four T as radius. Four as a center. Say P Q R S T U. Join. 
P and U P Q Q R R S S T as top base is fully visible with that I am drawing dark lines then we have to draw bottom base 2A as radius, 2 as a center, draw an arc with 3 as a center, 3D also with the same radius, draw an arc then 2 as a center, 2B as radius similarly with the same radius, 1 as a center same radius, 4 as a center say A, B, C, D, E, F. In the bottom portion, first we will draw all bottom base lines as light lines. After drawing bottom base as well as top base, then we have to join two bases with face edges. Say join AP. Yep, you. BQ. I am drawing all lines as a light lines except our base. Now we will draw required lines in a continuous way or dotted way that we will see it now. Say observer is looking in this direction. Then for the observer, this face line and this base edge and this base edge and this base edge. And this face edge and this face edge even this face edge are visible whereas inside this base edge say EF ED CD are invisible that's why we have to draw those lines as dotted lines join ET ET is coming right side that's why it's not visible then DS also not visible that's why it's a hidden That's about the construction of isometric view of a hexagonal prism when its base is on HP and axis is parallel to VP. I hope everyone understood well. Thank you.